everybody, my name is Lauren Biajati and I am a junior at Modern Day High School in Santa Ana, California. I am currently taking art classes at my school and I also have an art website called monarchmurals.com. So today in this workshop we will be painting a collage of flowers. So here's an example of one that I have drawn recently. I have some um, roses, some blue hydrangeas, and some um, sunflowers. And as you can see there's um, some leaves also. And so in this project, it's basically up to you what type of flowers you want to draw or where you want to place them on the page. I will just be showing you um, an example basically throughout this whole video um, and give you some tips and tricks on how to make your painting successful. But before I start this tutorial, um, there are some materials that you will need to complete this project. So first you're going to need some acrylic paints. I have the primary colors. Um, red, red, yellow, blue, and white. I also have colors like green and some purple and yellow. If you don't have those colors and you only have the primary colors, that's totally okay because you can use primary colors to mix other colors in the rainbow. You're also going to need some water for your acrylic paint. So I would put your water in a little um, plastic cup like this or I'm going to be using a mason jar that I'm just filling up with water. You're also going to need some brushes. So I have these two brushes. Um, they have different brush heads and really it doesn't matter which one you use. It's totally personal preference. So I tend to like this brush head a little bit better just for the petals. But also if you're making bigger flowers, this one um, with the kind of rectangular head can um, be more effective sometimes. So totally up to personal preference. Just you know, experiment with it. And then you're gonna need a napkin. Um, this is technically optional, but I would highly suggest it just because when your brushes are wet or when they have acrylic paint, it's just good just to um, dry your brushes off a little bit. And then you're also going to need a palette for your paints and, um, or you could use a plastic plate. Anything works that you can put on some acrylic paint and use it for mixing. Next you will need a paper, so I'm going to be using this paper. This is pretty big. It's a um, 9 by 12 paper, but in my example that I showed you guys earlier, this is a 7 by 10. So you could use a paper of this size or any, any size paper totally works as long as it's a thicker material. Um, this is multimedia um, art paper and it's a little bit thicker so it works better with um, paint. Um, so any size of a thicker paper should work for this. Lastly, I would suggest using reference photos. So I printed out these reference photos ahead of time. Um, these are the flowers that I will be painting in this um, workshop, but you can also pull up reference photo on any device that you may have or print it out and that totally works as well. So now I have my board set up with my paper and also my reference photos and I have put the primary colors of paint on my palette so you can see here's um, a blue, red, yellow, and then I also have a white right there. So let's start with the um, Mexican sunflower. So I'm going to mix an, a reddish orange color first. So first I have my red right here so I'm just going to scoop up some red. I kept spaces in between um, the primary colors just so that I could use those little spaces to mix in um, other colors. So I have this red and so I added some red to this one and I'm also going to grab some yellow. So I'm just going to start with a flower um, up here and I noticed that they have kind of like rectangular um, petals. So I'm just gonna kind of go with that and make um, the tip of the petal more rectangular. And then as you go into the middle of the flower, kind of make it um, go inwards a little bit if you see that shape. So as I continue to 
draw this flower, I am looking at the reference photo and noting the shape of the petals and how it looks so I can do my best to replicate the flower and I'm also going to mix some yellow color for the interior of the Mexican sunflower and add some white highlights for the petals. Now I'm drawing the marigold flower and I'm doing my best to copy my reference photo and add some highlights and darker shades to create depth and create those layered petals and I chose the marigold because it's used to decorate the streets on the Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos on this holiday it is believed that souls of the dead can visit their families and that the scent of the marigold can lead them back to their homes for a reunion. Lastly this purple-ish pinkish flower is a dahlia and I am doing my best to create that layered petal look by adding darker and lighter shades into the flowers. So I'm done with my flowers and I'm going to start painting the leaves and see that there's some very dark green right here. So I would make a few shades of green. I might keep that dark green and then mix now a lighter shade of green just so that the leaves can have more depth when we paint them. We can use um, a lighter shade and a darker shade just to create shadows and make it more look more interesting and realistic. Right now I am mixing my green colors and I am using that to paint the leaves. As you can see, I'm adding about two to three leaves per flower, and I'm going back in and adding splashes of white and darker tones of green to create depth. So I'm finally done with my painting. Here is the final product. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this and that you love how your painting turned out, and thank you so much for watching.